What's up guys, Ready Designs here, and I've got a lot of requests for this tutorial. Uh, I think it's long overdue. Um, it's uh, some cool looking, um, I guess you could say flare lines or whatever you want to call it. I'll come up with a name for it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. If you do not know, I will show you guys a quick um, example. Uh, let's go to one of my banners right here. <clears throat> now, these lines or whatever you want to see, these glowing lines that I use inside of text and stuff like interfacing and stuff like that, kind of gives it, you know, some sort of flair that I like to it. And it, it excuse me, makes a lot of, uh, just makes it, give, it gives you like, you know, a better visual effect on the text. And uh, especially if you like to use like darker renders like I use, uh, it's definitely a good thing to have. So um, let's get started real quick. Uh, I'm just going to do tutorial for these texts if you guys don't mind. But um, uh, tutorial. And uh, we're just using a cool looking font right now. And you know, it's really not. Really what you're, we'll do green, because uh, that's really kind of what I'm going to do. So I'm going to render it out in a, uh, a blackish color. I uh, think that'd look kind of cool. So um, let's put a, nah, this is the black I want. We'll put black here. And hmm, we'll do like a white on the inside and just, you know see what comes out, see what it looks like. You know, um, render time, I don't know if you guys have seen this, uh, but uh, the render times for, uh, uh, what's it called, um, it's R13, <laughs> I can't think right now, it's 3.30 in the morning, but um, yeah, the render time for R13, I don't know if you've noticed, but especially if you have, you know, uh, global illumination and some stuff like that on it, it's uh, it gets... Um, I think it's longer. I don't know. Compared to R12, I think it's uh, a lot longer. But uh, I have no complaints right now because I just I'm in love with Cinema 40 and what they do, and what Maxon does to this. So you know, no complaints. But um, yeah. So as we're waiting for this, uh, it, it should render pretty uh, fast. You know, if you guys have my Lightroom, which I will be coming out soon with, I basically took a bunch of Lightrooms that I thought were really nice, combining them made a bunch of effects that I like into it and my render settings and put them in so that'll be next giveaway so what we're going to want to do is, is you know whatever you're going to want to do uh, we'll just open up a new document but like if you if you're making a background or a banner or something like that uh, this is basically you'll just want to drag your text in but we'll uh, we'll start off with just a uh, dark gray to a lighter gray radial and make it like bipolar or you know like a radial um, what we're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to open up your text in Photoshop here it is uh, we'll erase this little access thing we don't need and we'll drag it into where I <clears throat> excuse me what I uh, our new document and uh, yeah so basically what we're gonna want to do here guys is a lot of people are like oh you know let's just use a specific brush no there's no specific brush you need to use uh, you know I, I would I would recommend in your presets uh, it, it's the third soft brush and you're gonna want to bring the size down to about two depending upon how big you want these things to be uh, you want to create a new layer all right and get your pen tool out so this is this is where you know uh, the the pen tool skill really needs to be used here. So you basically just want to click a starting point. So say we'll do the inner part or the outer part of the T. So go like there to here. Actually, it's not about right. It's perfect. No. Yeah. See, this is a black. I probably shouldn't have done this black, but there we go. And you're just gonna want to stroke path. Make sure everything's simulated pressure and brush. <laughs> And it's going to give this white effect. Now, you can do it on many different corners. Like, you know, I would suggest doing it on corners that 
have a lot of exposure because it'll give the text a uh, you know a huge uh, it gives it you know more of a vibrant you know cool looking holy crap that's a nice looking text type thing even if it's not um, this is kind of an illusion so you know people can definitely get away with stuff like this um, uh, so this is a really really cool uh, technique I I saw some people doing it and uh, I put in my own perspective and I think you know I did a pretty good job of it so uh, yeah, and all these stroking pads, you all want to do it on one layer, just so we're sure, because uh, uh, you just want to keep it all on one layer, uh, because you're gonna you're gonna basically uh, you'll see why in a sec. Um, but yeah, once you're done, which I did a bunch, just uh, you'll see. Uh, you're gonna want to just go to your your effects, go to outer glow. Now, if you're making a green background, make green. If you're gonna, you know, I'll, I'm gonna do green, but. Uh, you know, and just make you know about 10 let me see my settings uh, 10 size 100% opacity and already it kinda gives the the flow to it really uh, you know a nice cool looking flow but I'm gonna add another one you can add and take away from whatever you're doing um, and as you can see it just kinda gives the text a nice looking cool uh, retro-y looking cool Tron type, I don't even know, it just looks really cool, and you know. So what we're going to want to do is, you're going to create a new layer, and you're going to want to go to that same brush, and we'll just move it up to about, uh, we'll go to about 40 pixels. Take your, um, uh, you know, just your foreground color, and just kind of click over the green that you're looking for, and drag all the way up. So once you have this, now here's the part that people don't understand. It's like, oh, well, mine's always coming out wrong. Well, here's where we're going to go over. Now, the opacity of your brush is, you can bring it down to about 50, and you're going to get a stroke kind of like that, where you can see through it. Or you can just keep it at 100 and lower the opacity here. Up to you, doesn't matter to me. Um, I'll do both ways. First, you're gonna do is just kind of click and drag over the lines that you have pen tooled. So if we've got something like this, and you're just gonna want to make sure you get every one of them because you know, it good. So that's what you're gonna kind of look like right now. So it's gonna look whoa, what the hell's going on? No, don't worry about it. It's gonna look cool in a second. So you're gonna want to switch the blend mode to overlay and overlay is going to give it this weird looking really 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 vibrant color and uh, what I suggest and bring bring the opacity down to you know 50 maybe 25 you know depending upon what you're looking at and then I take a pretty small eraser and I just kind of and it's a soft 100% soft and I just kind of erase the access that we don't need and um, you know, like in here, we can erase this stuff and just kind of get away and get this stuff out of the way. And that's basically what our tutorial is. I mean, you can do this on plenty of stuff. Um, uh, one thing I just wanted to say before this, we end this, guys, is uh, go subscribe to Fear Arts. Um, awesome channel. Keep subscribing to me. Uh, help me get back to my one point. At 8k that I had in X walls and um, thanks for all the help and all the views I'm getting so uh, keep it up guys and uh, this is rated and uh, I'm out